Hiya YouTubers, this is Superman G, come back at you one more again. And I'm going to do another video about dash cams, and I know I've been making a lot of them, but people have been uh, commenting to me and asking me all kinds of questions still, believe it or not, and that's alright, that's fine, that's what, I, that's what I want, because I want people to be well informed, I want them to ask questions so I can do the best I can to answer them uh, the questions that they ask so they can be informed and they can have all the information that they need for purchasing or even operating a dash cam. Now the questions I've been asked is that is it okay to just delete the files instead of formatting them? And the answer is yes. Format actually does more harm than good to these uh, memory cards that go inside these dash cams and the best thing to do is to format only if necessary. If you don't have to format the memory card, then by all means try not to. Uh, you can go inside the file system, whether on your computer or even on your smartphone, and you can actually delete the files in there without having to format the entire drive itself. So if you're not certain how to do that, I'm going to show you how to do that, and this applies to all memory cards no matter which brand it was made by this applies to all memory cards that you have installed on your dash cam or rather inside your dash cams now the file systems may look differently depending on if the camera comes equipped with parking mode or motion detector so or detection rather so there may be files in this particular file system that may vary from file systems in a different camera system so uh, if you see any variation this is why so what you're gonna do is once you put in the memory card you're gonna click on the little file explorer icon down here and you're gonna navigate to the card the cards folder in this case it's the U1000G. So this is what I named the card. Uh, so once you find it, you just click on it, left click on it, and these are all the folders that are associated with the video files. So there's parking recording, motion time lapse, which is for parking mode, manual recording, event recording, and then continuous recording. And all of these settings and all these are other files that the GPS and these are other files that come associated with the dash cam. You don't have to mess with those. So you don't delete these files here. Anything other than parking mode, uh, motion time lapse, memory recording, event recording, and continuous recording. If you have these files, do not delete them. Do not delete any files that are in here. Because if you do, you are going to have to format the drive. So don't delete these files. What you do is actually go into the file system itself so let's go into parking recording file and all these files here if there's nothing in here that I absolutely need or if there's something in this file that you do not necessarily need you can always pull the file that you need or files if there are more than one and you can save them to another part on your computer or even in a different folder uh, once you do that then you can delete the rest of the files that are in this folder and it's just simple all you have to do is you can just highlight them all or actually come over here to select all and then it'll highlight and then hit the delete button like so it'll ask if are you sure you want to permanently delete these 30 items you click yes boom they're gone and then from there you can go to main recording if you have any files in here if you don't you're good you can go to event recording if you have any files in here that you do not want, you're going to click select all. As a matter of fact, let me show you another way how you can do it. Uh, you can always left click, hold down the left mouse, mouse button and drag this line across and then click delete. It'll ask, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files again? You click yes. Boom. They're gone. And then you can come over to continuous recording and this is where you're going to have more most of the files because this is when you're driving down the road once again if there's no file or files 
that are in here that you need then just click select all you don't have to wait for this bar to stop loading and then click delete it'll ask you if you want to delete these items click yes and depending on how many are in here how fast the system is it might take a little while but once again this folder is empty now all these folders should be empty you can go back and check to make certain if they're empty or not and if they are then you're good and then remember earlier it was showing that it was mostly full now you can see it's come back down and that's because it had all those files in there and these um, memory cards do get full pretty quickly depending on how much information is on them so that's another way how you can actually free up the space on your flash drives so instead of you doing a complete format you can just go in and delete the files that you do not need and from there you're good you're ready for your next segment or segments of video files for your next trip next outing or wherever it is that you need to go and knowing that you have enough space to capture that footage so in other cases you have older footage the dash cam will overwrite old footage with new footage so if you don't want that old footage erased make sure you remove it out of those files or copy them to another file or a different part of your computer before you start deleting those files and that way you can have them because once they're gone they're gone you, you can't get them back because they don't even go in the recycling bin so please be careful about when you're removing those files or rather deleting them so I hope this helps you guys out. You all take care, be safe, and peace out.